With loving greetings from all souls at this station, this is Matthew. You are inundated with information, and rarely do we tell you which to embrace and which to disregard. Instead, we have emphasized using discernment and trusting intuition about all information, and we have offered guidance to distinguish factual from false. Now we are going to speak out forthrightly about the perception that you are entering fifth density. You need to know that is a misperception so you don't become disillusioned when what you are expecting doesn't happen. We don't know from whence came that idea about Earth's proximity to fifth density, perhaps the intensity of the collective desire for goodness to permeate the planet and uplift every life. You want your families to live in a peaceful world where everyone shares in bountiful resources and has nutritious food, excellent healthcare and education, and satisfying housing. A world whose damaged areas are restored to health and beauty, where neighbors and nations cooperate happily, everyone has advancement opportunities and all humans live in harmony with nature. We understand this, dear ones. All lighted beings in this universe want that for Gaia and all her resident souls, human and animal and plant, and that world will come in its time, that is a certainty. You also have personal desires relating to fifth density. Although you are greatly more aligned with soul-level knowledge than is a third-density population, your bodies are as vulnerable as theirs to illness, afflictions, and aging. You want to grow new organs and limbs and teeth, regain keen vision and hearing, become stronger and more energetic, and look vibrant and youthful. That is understandable, too, and the ability to make those changes is indeed forthcoming, but not imminently or in mass. The key is not med bed technology, as you may be thinking, it is close rapport with your body and its functioning, unwavering belief, and soul contract choice for optimum physical, mental, and emotional well-being. When person's conscious desires are the same as their contracts in this regard and they staunchly believe they have renewal capabilities, the combination produces the frequency that activates body's self-healing, regenerating and de-aging mechanisms. You also want to communicate telepathically, materialize objects, teleport and use other innate abilities, and all of those will be unfolding up ahead. If your contract's longevity clause doesn't call for living on Earth that long, you will have all those magical dimensions of life in Nirvana, another spirit world or back in your homeland. And, dear family, your enthusiasm about the future is totally justified. In the continuum you are absolutely glowing as you enjoy the spectrum of soul-level powers and Earth is sparkling with renewed health and restored beauty. What is asked you is your perception of when that future is in linear time. You could be interpreting the winds of change, so to say, as closeness to fifth density. While still tenacious and dangerous, the Illuminati are weakening by the day. Many of their operations have been destroyed and others are faltering, like forming terrorist groups and hiring mercenaries, because financing is drying up. A number of their major players in several countries have been executed and grassroots movements are subverting local dark footholds. No longer is Earth serving as a schoolhouse for the universe, so the day of souls flocking there to balance experiencing by enduring difficult 3D lifetimes is over. All those developments have been heightening vibratory rates, and you may be feeling the effect as fifth density's doorstep. Maybe a more intimate connection with God and Gaia is sending your spirit soaring. Or your sensation of nearness to fifth density could be as as simple as that is what you are. Think of this, always you emit the high vibes of love and those produced by your nature, smiles, kindness, compassion, empathy, generosity, optimism, helpfulness, perseverance and self-confidence, and simply by being you radiate a mile-wide beam of light and joyousness that motivates, inspires, and uplifts Earth's peoples. Our dear sisters and brothers, that is who you are and why you are where you are. Also affecting life on Earth is the energy of the on the other hand populace. The many, many millions who are struggling to survive don't know their preoccupation with loss, anxiety, and suffering is strengthening and prolonging the causes of their grief, fear and deprivations. They have no idea about the ages-old battle between the light forces and the dark forces or that benevolent changes are on the near horizon because the light is triumphant. 
The low frequencies of ignorance that are formidable foes of hope and self-empowerment solidify the basis of a third-density environment. Of the many people who don't live in dire circumstances, some who are wealthy covet their money and are miserly or are oblivious to the needy. Some individuals are ruthlessly climbing the corporate ladder or are focused on climbing the social ladder. Some are afraid to speak out truthfully or fear associating with someone who is different. Some are self-centered or unfaithful to partners or concentrate on self-gratification. Some betray friends or deceive family or are abusive or let addictions control them, and some individuals are just plain nasty disposition. That bundle of low-frequency behaviors and emotions is third-density glue. Now then, a few of our messages include words from Arnold, a member of the extraterrestrial special forces. Maybe you remember that one reason the forces are invaluable helpers is their ability to invisibly attend deep state planning sessions and advise white hats accordingly. Our reference to him isn't in that capacity, though. Mother, please copy what he said a few months ago that is pertinent to Earth and this fifth density issue. My people conservatively estimate that reconciliation, cleansing and reconstruction will be completed in less than two generations, 35 to 40 of your years, and many aspects will be accomplished much sooner. Significant efforts have started in some areas, others are in planning stages, and throughout those years we and other universal family will work alongside you. Thank you. The time estimate Arnold spoke about takes into account all circumstances that must be dealt with. We will mention some on his long list. Animals and trees are souls whose symbiotic and synergistic relationship with humankind is an essential part of an advanced world. Most of Earth's animals are treated inhumanely and corporations scarify square miles of forested land. Double Saray I produced clones portray persons who no longer are alive to give the appearance that they are handling their jobs as usual. A mask-wearing actor playing the part of United States President Biden and other imposters who hold elected offices in that country and other countries are following Illuminati orders. The Vatican is the international headquarters for Satanism and has art treasures the Nazis stole from Jewish families during World War II. Pope Francis would not adhere to the Illuminati agenda, so he was assassinated three years ago and since then an old man wearing a mask has been telling adherents of Catholicism what he is told to tell them. The religiously devout don't know the tenets of Christianity were written many centuries ago by leaders of state and church so they could control the masses and enrich themselves. Darkness pervades the Western medical system via textbook publication, hospital administration, CDC, FDA, who and related agencies, pharmaceutical manufacturers, insurance companies, and practitioners who succumb to bribes, threats or blackmail. Governments don't want to acknowledge the existence, much less the presence of people in other civilizations. Nazis who fled to Ukraine after World War II joined with the Illuminati to make that country a breeding ground for every major crime in your world. The controlled media cannot report that Russia was tasked by the light forces to locate and destroy those operations. Illuminati-controlled global banking and commerce are computer transactions with no monetary foundation. Malnutrition, disease, impoverishment and homelessness or nomadic existence are the lot of billions in a world ruled by billionaires. From early civilizations onward, powermongers have cut short the lifetimes of countless souls whose contract choice was to live to old age. The most recent example, genocide in Gaza, hadn't begun when Arnold's people were listing the aforementioned situations and others that run deep into the roots of Earth's civilization. However, he said that won't change their time estimate for reconciliation, cleansing and reconstruction. Darkness will end in stages as Earth's civilization advances through fourth density. No 3D action, activity, attribute or attitude can cross the threshold of fifth because their low vibrations cannot exist in that density. About those numbers, the universe has no demarcations, energy isn't compartmentalized, and we use numbers only to indicate Earth's location or the evolutionary status of an individual or a civilization. Fourth and fifth densities aren't destinations on an intergalactic travel itinerary, 
they are stages of self-discovery along soul's evolutionary journey back to creator source. As the society awakens, they will learn that brutality, bellicosity, corruption, deceit, greed, bigotry, vengefulness, rage, envy, jealousy, treachery and bitterness were inculcated in the makeup of humankind by puppets of the dark forces in antiquity. Those characteristics were purposeful in third density, but it is time to expunge them from the collective consciousness. By exemplifying the love light essence of Creator, you will be the way showers for the peoples to eradicate those traits. Helping a civilization rise from third density to fifth is a gargantuan undertaking, a gargantuan accomplishment. In the continuum, Earth's happy, healthy, prosperous humans are thriving with the animals and plants on a grandly rejuvenated planet. Dear ones, you are helping them bring about that rebirth. All light beings in this universe honor you and support you with the unparalleled power of unconditional love.